Today we're going to be making critters and clay, and critters and clay is basically you're going to make some animal that you love or that you just want to see um, made in ceramic. Gabe Graber is molding better artists at the Picosan Arts School of Fine Craft in the Terrell County town of Columbia. Overall, I want them to leave here with enough tools to do it on their own. The school has studios for workshops in painting, drawing, ceramics, metalworking, woodworking, and even digital fabrication. Picosan Arts mission is to provide handcraft education opportunities for everyone. We serve the local community and counties, surrounding counties, but we also are reaching out to a national audience and more and more people are starting to travel to come here. Picosan Arts started with a small studio and gallery space in 1995. In 2013, it added the two-story Riverside Lodge. It has studio, classroom, and gallery space downstairs and lodging upstairs. There are shared rooms with bunk beds and private rooms with queen beds. The lodging is for our students when they come for our workshops, which last anywhere from two to 10 days, and also for artists and residents. The school recently added the Riverview building. It can house six and has a kitchen and great room for gatherings. And of course, it's right on the river with a really nice deck for barbecues or any kind of event you might want to have too even a workshop lunch break with food from one of Columbia's nearby restaurants. You just get a sense of community that you wouldn't get if you were trying to, you know, take a class online or something like that. You get more of that personal experience and making connections with people. The school is right in the heart of Columbia's quaint downtown, which sits along the Scuppernog River on the edge of the Pocosin Lakes National Wildlife Refuge. It's just a really inspiring place to be, and you're also 40 minutes from the beach, so there's all of that for inspiration as well. So I'm working on a sculpture of two dolphins. Sandy Brigman lives in the beach town of Kill Devil Hills and has obviously been inspired by it. She's had experience in clay working on a potter's wheel. I made a lot of bowls, lots of mugs, um, and wanted to expand that part of, of pottery. She wanted to think outside the circle. So I was really excited when I saw that Picosan Arts offered this workshop for sculpture. My main goal in taking the workshop was to figure out what I was doing wrong when I was trying to do sculptures at home. I really wanted to learn technique, and this workshop has definitely helped me with that. So you need, you're going to need to Score, mm -hmm. all of that edge there. Mm -hmm. Gabe wants that for all her students. I wanted to show them basic form making, like how to develop the whole vessel of a body, right? And how to make feet, how to make hands, how to do the gestures of the face. Taking all these tools that they learned home with them to use in their own studios is really what I want them to take from this class. And take home these finished forms that have been fired and left unglazed like these or can be glazed later. I want people to come here and connect with the materials, learn how to use your hands, and also walk away maybe with something beautiful that they may not have had before, a skill, and also appreciation for this area and this part of North Carolina. Pocosin Arts School of Fine Craft is at 201 Main Street in Columbia. For more information about their classes and workshops, give them a call at 252-796-2787 or go online to pocosinarts.org.